So this is the PIC32 MIDI synthesizer that we've made. Um, it's got a full interactive menu uh, with lots of tunable effects. You can work through the menu by going up and down. You'll see this red arrow moving. And you can uh, go through the effects with the left and right arrows. Okay, and the, what do the three knobs do? The three knobs, uh, this knob controls volume, master volume. This knob controls values in uh, the effects pages. Mm -hmm. And this knob controls, uh, we have a separate page for LFO rate and frequency, and so this knob controls LFO. Okay, so that's that's for FM modulation. Mm -hmm. And you have a standard MIDI connection on the back, audio and MIDI connection, going over right now to a keyboard. Yep. It's just, we also have a configuration to work with a USB MIDI uh, controller, if you look on that laptop. So it's not plugged in right now, but any MIDI controller will basically work. Okay. And... So, uh, play me something. Okay, and the noise burst. The noise burst was not. It's not code error. That's a. That's, that's a specific effect. Yeah. All right. So, so you have. A, it's very agile. Agile uh, synth. That's that's. Uh, that's in a pretty compact, uh, waterproof form, survivable kind of form there. Well, without the holes in the side. Without yeah. the holes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and 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 good looking. Mm-hmm. Okay, anything else you'd like to say about this? Uh, it's called Ned. It's called Ned. It's sampling at 20 kilohertz. Yes. Um, um, 8 bit synth. DDS monophonic synthesis. DDS, and, and, your, and the next step, if you had more time, would be to add some more voices. Add some more voices, add some more effects. Stereo effects as well. Stereo effects, right. Because right. Yeah. right now we're doubling the same channel out. Uh -huh. So stereo would be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you.